Okay. Hang on. All right. So today, I'm going to uh, tackle a project here. It's uh, really a cloudy day. This is like the fourth day of clouds. I swear, April and May are, that's where all of our clouds are. We really struggle on power. I'm gonna work on a project today that I don't have the electricity on, I don't have my computer on. I'm just going to try to conserve as much electricity as possible today. So, one of the things that issues we have is our rain system. And the rain here drains off the roof down and into this uh, catchment. <clears throat> and this catchment is designed, it has a baffle in it. You can see the baffle here. So all the floaties stay here and the stuff that sinks is caught in this part and the water is flown over and all this floaty stuff basically will float off and fall off eventually once it's full. But the water has to basically go down and then behind here, let's see, can you can see that. There's another baffle back there. So the water has to basically flow over, down, and back under, and then it falls into a pipe that's sitting back there and goes down into the cisterns. That's how it's designed anyway. So the problem with this here is um, different, you know, we always have birds here come here, land, get a drink of water, and leave, which is fine. Uh, but we also have uh, little field mice that come out here. There are tons of them. I catch them all the time uh, in the house. I have to get rid of them. Uh, I have a live catch where we catch them. These are the live tra traps that I use. These little <clears throat> Victor Victor V10 cat is what they're called. They work great. You can catch multiple mice. We catch them all the time. As you can see, there's one. A little cute bastard. Look at him. A little cute better. No, you don't need out. You don't need out. Okay. They come here trying to get water and then they end up falling in and they drown. And uh, having dead carcasses in your drain catchment is just, it's not very safe. It's not very safe. My idea here to solve this problem of dead mice or mice falling in here and drowning and dying is to build a... Uh, like a basket so I'm gonna build a basket that sits in here so it's gonna you know come over and it's gonna come down and it's gonna be you know at least this deep and it's just basically gonna sit in here and then in this basket I am going to take a bunch of this lava rock and put in it so that way the mice have no access to get to it they can't get to the water so therefore, uh, they won't fall in it to drown. But the water will still flow through. And I'm going to use lava rock because lava rock is a lot lighter. It's real light. It's a real light rock. Uh, and it also works, will work for a good filter. So anyway, that's the whole plan. Uh, I do need to clean this out a little bit. You can see it's gotten some muck in there. And that's just from, you know drainage off the roof and stuff and another thing with this basket i want to be able to remove it so i want to be able to take it off clean it out and put it back whenever you know once every couple years or so uh, i wouldn't i would say it would last at least two three years before it gets too mucky in there but anyway so that's my project for today okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to measure the size and as you can see, we're about what, 14 inches. And then how deep we want to go, the basket. I would say about, uh, let's see here, 16 inches. So 14 by 16. 
and then how deep I want it is probably about uh, two and a half inches deep so that would be 14 inches by 16 inches and two and a half inches deep you definitely want to use just some good gloves heavy duty gloves when working with this wire cut your hands up Try to get it flat so what I'm doing is I just kind of take it and use my the palm of my hand and kind of bend it back just to kind of work it and flatten it out so it kind of as flat as possible. I believe I said 14 inches by 16 inches by two and a half, two and a half inches deep. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out there and get me a piece of paper and I'm going to confirm the measurements uh, because I always measure twice and cut once. About where we want it here. About right there. And yeah, the squares on this isn't straight at all, so you really can't go with that. So, I'm just going to take a hammer, barely tap it, just barely tap it. So we're going to go two and a half inches up here, and then we're going to bend it there, and it's going to bend back this way. Two and a half inches, and that's going to be right there. Get my straight edge. What needs to bend? Actually, that needs to. I need uh, something higher here. There's our lip. Right there. That's from the mark. Take my pliers. Finish it, pinching it. We are at 14 inches. We are at 24 inches. And we want to go 16. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need to measure it at 4 inches here. There and there. I'm going to cut this here and cut this here. So I'll cut it here and I'll cut it here. 
so this flap can bend up and these can bend in. Snips, cut there, snip it there. This is where my bend up is, very carefully. Work it along the line. Now measure this, we are at 16 inches. Need to do a little trimming where my lip's going to be. Okay, so you can see I cut that there, so that way I still have my lip here. And this can fold around like this. I'm going to fold over the top here, back over. Where I want to make my bend. That looks good. There is our basket. The little flaps on the side. Well, let's go do a test fit. It's been an hour. <laughs> See how it fits in there. Okay, so here's my basket. And I've gotten here. Still need to make some modifications. I'm going to put a piece that covers this part. It kind of goes in there. And I'm also going to fix this. Because any... The thing with mice is if they can get their head in it, they can get through. Even though his body is built bigger than his head. Because the skeleton, skeletal, skeletal structure is designed to completely collapse. So his all of his ribs will completely collapse uh, to get through a hole. So if a mouse, if you picture a mouse's head, just their head, their little part of their head, if that can fit through a hole, their whole body can go through. Okay, so I got my rocks in place. So now when the water flows down here, it will flow through these rocks. And these rocks will act as a, a filter too, you know. I finished it. Added this piece here. Wrapped it around good on both sides so you won't be able to get through there. And then in the back, I do the same things. Got my rocks. So we'll see how that works. Here's that's just all that problem but again yeah I mean like I said I catch probably about two or three at least two or three mice a week in that little can you know when you live out here in the middle of nowhere that's just part of it you just that's just it's not like you're not gonna have a mouse problem I mean I could call an exterminator out here and he would poison and well then I'd have stinky dead mice everywhere I'd rather catch them live and take care of them than to poison them and risk my cat or my dog getting in the poison. Not only that, but if I was to poison the mice, they would be poisoned. They go outside, a hawk, a uh, bird of prey picks it up, and now it's poisoned and will die. And uh, you shouldn't poison anything. You really shouldn't. 
you should find other ways, other means. Uh, there's always other means. It may be a little bit more work, but in the long run, I think it's better not to poison at all. So if you have mice in your house, get one of these. You can get one of these uh, little tin can uh, things. Catch them. Have your husband, your next door neighbor, somebody else take care of it if you're scared of mice. Uh, it's 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 better it's better to do it that way than to poison them in my opinion anyway uh, I believe that's all for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it